The world of AR, mixed reality and VR headsets is constantly expanding with new devices being released all the time. As someone who hasn't had much exposure to this technology, I was intrigued when I heard about the Rokid Max AR. This lightweight device weighs just 75 grams, making it comfortable to wear for extended periods without straining your neck. The screen is equivalent to a 215-inch panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and uses a micro-LED design that produces vivid colors and good contrast in the picture. While we are on the subject of display, do note that Rokid Max does have HDCP support, meaning you can watch Netflix and other streaming services that use the copy protection standard at the highest quality. Setting up the Rokid Max AR is incredibly easy. All you need to do is download the app, plug in and go. With the glasses on, you can see a screen with your phone apps and a connected headset becomes a trackpad for moving the cursor. It's seamless and intuitive. What really caught my attention was the myopia adjustment feature, which is something that has always concerned me about AR devices. From what I've heard, it has a decent field of adjustment that allows people who wear glasses to use it comfortably. All you have to do is adjust the lenses so the image appears as sharp as possible for each eye. Another thing that intrigued me was that it draws power from the phone instead of having its own battery, which means you don't need to worry about carrying charging cables. Although I haven't had the chance to use the device myself, I have heard mixed reviews from people who have. Some have encountered issues when connecting it with iPhones but have had a seamless experience with Android phones. Those who have used it for watching videos say that the immersive experience is visually impressive and the sound suppression is great, although the volume is a bit low. They found themselves getting lost for hours just watching videos. However, they did mention that the control layout was not suitable for fast-paced games like Call of Duty Mobile and suggest that a controller mapping feature could be added to future models to make the gaming more enjoyable. One of the things that seem really impressive about the Max AR is the way that it acts as a screen for your phone apps. This makes it a great way to consume content like videos and from what I've heard, the immersive nature of AR seems to make the content consumption much more enjoyable. Overall, the Rokid Max AR seems to be a good solution for users who want an immersive experience for watching videos and surfing the web. Although it's not cheap, at $439, it's comparable to decent tablets and offers a unique experience that might be worth the investment. With that said, thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.